Good morning, everyone. Hope you all have a blessed day. Wish you good health and happiness. We will bring some more timber falling to you. Gorgeous morning. Gorgeous. Hopefully it doesn't get too much more windy than it is. I got, a little, I got a little bit to clean up right down in there. And then I got to bump all the way down into the bottom. Come up with another strip. Always strive to be the first one here. You know, some days that's not possible, but at least I try to be here first that's something my old man always taught me he was always the first one at the logging site and he had every piece of equipment started and running warmed up you know, he did that for uh, 30 years or so but anyway i'm gonna get geared up and uh wait for the other cutters to get here that way we can make a game plan. There's gonna be, I think, three or four cutters today. Um, they're not yarding any logs today, so it's a bit chilly. Get moving. Well, hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a blessed day, everyone. Guys are coming finally. One thing I forgot to do yesterday was pack my spare bar. When I hike down over the hill, I usually throw my bar cover on and then I slide an extra bar in it just in case you get pinched up. I always have extra chain and stuff with me. But uh yeah, pack an extra bar that through in the backpack. I always run a backpack too. Just carry water and uh, extra gear. new one yet i got it full of oil i'm gonna put some gas in it this is that one i found a while back when i delivered that wood and seen it laying out in the grass one thing about these gas cans this style is i have one and it like siphons itself out so i always pinch it i always fold the tube in half and then stick it in the gas can Got the 441 for a backup saw. Thought about bringing that 660, but it just, right now it doesn't cut fast enough. For production falling, you wanna have a saw that cuts fast. That and that 660, it drinks too much fuel. Heck, I can cut almost twice as much with that 390. But, kinda looking at picking up a 500i. Um, I'll probably cut for this outfit for a while. Hear him coming anyway. <laughs> yeah, this gentleman, he worked with my old man for about 15 years for a logging outfit. And uh, I, I remember him as a kid. He doesn't remember me though. But, uh, yeah, he asked if I'd come lend a hand, and help him get some timber on the ground. You know, and that's just it too, you know, try and help. Everyone helps everyone out around here. It's 
especially all the logging outfits there ain't no competition and trying to beat guys out of jobs and stuff you know with uh, my plans here in the future I might need help might need him to low boy something in for me or who knows it's always that possibility of uh, needing a hand with something and you go burning your bridges or turn guys down and be like no nah, I can't help you and stuff like that no it could happen to you so I always try and help out when I can where I can you know I don't always I don't look for anything in return but there's always that possibility of I might need help one day so just keep that in mind when uh, someone asks you for a hand <clears throat> Well, I got all my stuff ready. I'm ready to rock. Guess we'll wait for the other guys to show up and uh, get our game plan going. That way we're not on top of each other falling timber. Um, yesterday, the other cutter, he's actually the yarder operator. He uh, was about halfway up the hill. And, you know, I don't mind guys above me cutting when they're a long ways away, which he was. But once I got up to where my strip met his, it was hell trying to <laughs> just i had to swamp out he fell a bunch of trees all around trees i had to fall yet and it was kind of a pain but and there's some big big uh snag patches down there pretty dangerous ones too and you always got to be cautious around that stuff you know pick your way through there overlook everything before you even start cutting and and like you've seen i smashed some of them snags they don't they don't matter they'll probably get left over the hill some get yarded up on accident and then the firewood cutters get them hell i might even cut some up one day but uh you know just smash them get them out of the way so it's better to bust up a bunch of uh dead timber than trying to uh save it out and stuff because the mills around here don't take dead timber so and that's like in the one video uh firewood the easy way when i was cutting in that log landing uh guys are asking if uh it's legal for me to take them yes it is because the mills don't take them they're coal logs so anyway stay tuned we'll get to well they uh got us paired up there's a cutter down there coming up with the strip um he's a long ways away but that's another thing you got to be aware of is where your partner is. Uh, it's the first time I've cut with someone in quite a while. Usually I'm cutting by myself, but anyway, we got a dead leaner. It's in the tree on the other side of this tree, but uh, that's something I'll have to watch out for. But I'm going to try and take it out with this tree right here.
that situation, I said, screw my saw. I'm out. Got out to the side. It's easier to replace a $1,200 saw. Being my kids' only biological parent left, that matters a lot more. <laughs> Well, I'm going to leave this right here because when he comes up, he's got a good opening right here. I don't want to smash up a bunch of trees he's got to pick up. That's the only bad part about having a cutter come up from the bottom yesterday. I got swamped with tops and stuff. and It's pretty dangerous when you smash into other trees. You got stuff hanging. You always got to be aware of that stuff. So. Anyway, we'll get you guys set up on another stump. Oh, did you guys fall? <laughs> yeah, come in, touch low. Oh well. It is a mess in here. Okay, so here's the deal on this tree. It's bowed downhill, but it, it's got a big belly downhill. But it's top heavy. I'm going to cut it up, set it up with wedges. If I can't bang it over, I'm going to walk way around it and uh, smack it with a tree. Oh, pretty stump. So, get you guys set up here. Cheapest insurance a cutter could ever buy.
fun. That one was kind of a hard read. It was bellied out downhill, but it was top heavy and a lot of limbs. So cheap insurance, throw them in there. Well, if you're watching this and you're a better cutter than me, then uh, that's fine. I, I don't claim to be the greatest cutter. I can put them where I want them to go 90% of the time. Every once in a while we have an accident. My buddy down there, the other cutter, he asked me, he goes, you want to run a hot saw today? I said, no. He said, because as soon as I grab your saw, it's going to be the first saw I've ever smashed. I've yet to smash a saw. Or, well, I rolled the tree over a saw, but it never busted it up. But I've never smashed a saw. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't. But I'd rather it be a saw than myself, though. Anyway, I'm going to try and save some uh, storage for this afternoon, maybe on the ride out. Gorgeous. Getting her opened up. Well, I've been cutting for, well, I've been cutting for about four hours now, so she just stopped to fuel up and, uh, about halfway through the day, I like to pop my air filter out, clean it out. So I got these holes put in the back of the cap to make it breathe better. Pull your choke, that way nothing gets in there. Forgot to take it home last night and clean it. Look at all that. Pull the choke, that way it closes the carb down. That way nothing's falling in there when you take your filter off. Just don't forget to take the choke off when you go to start it back up. That way you're not flooding it. <clears throat> so Anyway, just thought I'd throw that little tip in there. Let's get back to cut. Two more hours. Well, I'm out of here. I didn't take any more video. Uh, just whooped, that's for sure. Um, I am beat. <laughs> I can tell I'm out of cutting shape, that's for sure. Heck, even, well, I guess I haven't cut that much firewood lately, but hiking up and down steep country and uh, packing your gear with you is a whole different ball game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go home, shower, and relax. So, not sure what we're doing this weekend. So maybe come out with another video, who knows. Sorry if you hear a bunch of rattling, that's just the door. <laughs> anyway, catch you guys later. Wish you good health and happiness.